let's go over and see how you can remove console.log statements in your JavaScript using a grunt uh, plugin called grunt contribute uglyfy. Uh, so let's get started. Uh, all I have done here right now is uh, let me just show you. I have created an index page and it just has, says that how you can use grunt contribute uglyfy to remove console.log statements. And here's my JavaScript. And my JavaScript just has a console.log. Say this is a test and should not be logged in production. So let's say you just have that for demonstration purposes. And you can see it is logging this and everything else. So what do you want to do is uh, under Grunt, uh, you want to go and find this plugin called Grunt Contribute Uglyfy and install it. And I have already installed it. I can show you how to install it. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, you just uh, use this command called npm install grunt contribute uglyfy save dev and it should uh, save the information uh, in your uh, packages file and once you have that uh, it's very easy to uh, set up a grunt file and uh, I have shown you that now uh, basically you say the load npm task is grunt contribute uglyfy and these are some of the options uh, there are several options that I'm not going to go over all of them, which is uh, pretty good uh, options. One option is to eliminate the dead code, which is good, a news code, which is true, and then you can also say the drop console is true. This is the actual command which will call and remove all the console log statements from your code. And here I'm saying the source is app.js and the destination is out.js, and out.js is our output file. So this is uh, the way to uh, now uh, just run this is if I can just say grunt minus v. It should basically process my code and you will see an out.js is created and which doesn't really have any console log statements. And I can change my index.html uh, to basically use this output.js file. And if I do that and run my HTTP server, uh, here you can see that it's not going to log any any uh, comments and you can easily use this to remove your comments and if you are not using it under production and you just want to uh, have those under debug you can just comment this one line in your debug file and I'm going to basically run grunt again here grunt and start my server and you should have your login statement back in the game and if you look at out.js it has that so this is actually a pretty good plugin and uh, you can also use uh, something called debug in javascript basically uh, you can annotate your comments by using if debug and uh, do this 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 and uh, so it can also be used for something like that but if you want to learn more, you can just go to my website. I have a link to this contribution, run contribution of DeFi. You can search for debug or console, and you should be able to find uh, the relevant options. Another thing I found is that it has a link to some of the cool options under Uglyfy JS Global Documentation Documentation. And there is, there is where it is. And you can see all of the compiler options that you can use. Thank you for watching this screenshot, and you have a great day.